Yes. But the last pitch Bob Gibson ever threw was hit for a grand slam home run by Pete LeCock, who played for the Cubs and hmm. for Kansas City. And then the game was out of hand and Red had to come get Bob and he never threw another pitch in the major leagues. Now, fast forward a decade, and there's an old timers game at Wrigley Field. And Bob <laughs> is on the mound. And up comes Pete LeCock. No way. And no way came next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He hit him. Okay. <laughs> so now so now I go up to Bob, you know, the next time I see him at Bob, come on. Is what what's the deal with that? And this is what he said. He said, Robert, the scales must be balanced no matter how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, during the 2016 World Series, I, I was at Gibson's in, in Chicago uh, after one of the games at Wrigley. You guys know Gibson's, a big sports hangout, and Pete yeah. LeCock happened to be there. And to LeCock, that was a badge of honor. Not so much that he hit the Grand Slam, but that Gibson thought enough of them to have to even the score and hit him 10 years later. <laughs> <laughs> he was hit by a legend. Oh, Legendary gosh. stories from Bob Costas. Bob, Bob, wow, we needed that. Thank you so but, much. You know, it, it wasn't just admiration. It was such deep respect. And just a small note, uh, you know, Harold talked about what a great athlete he was and a good hitting pitcher. He homered in both the 67 and 68 World Series. He homered against the Red Sox and against the Tigers in addition to all his pitching exploits. He was one of the greatest of the great. And, you know, it's a, it's a personal loss for those of us who knew him well. Bob Costas, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Bob. That was outstanding. That was awesome. Thank you.